Yes, uh, I started at the very beginning of the DTP process. Uh, I am Canadian, I worked for an American company, and we were uh, the very first company to launch Quark Express 1.0. So I was involved in all this DTP development. Worked with Apple, invented color separations. So I was really at the beginning of the DTP revolution. Fonts, color separation, multi-page documents, advertising. I come from the advertising world in the newspaper industry. So I worked for 10, 15 years in Canada, in the US, moved to Europe, also working in the newspaper industry. So printing. So print is in your DNA. That's my first love, first, pr first love, first business love. And therefore, uh, yeah, it's in my DNA. Uh, I left the print environment for about 15 years where I worked in the dam business, again, content. And uh, getting back to print technologies is indeed coming back to my first professional love, which is quite refreshing and fun. Indeed, we started uh, Print France in November 2015, and actually the decision was made at the last print day here in uh, Montabau last year, when Horst and I met for the first time, discussed product strategy, and basically what came out is that uh, WorksVi, Print, had some, a few customers in France that were serviced out of Germany, the French market being French, uh, the French not being very good with English, they needed local representation, they needed translation of the application, they needed consultancy experience, uh, consultants locally. So basically uh, that was the first motivation. Second one, the French market as well as Southern Europe is a strong print mentality countries and we see a lot of potential for growth. So we wanted to be closer to this market and this is this was the main motivation to get started. We're a small team. Uh, we just started, as I said, six, eight, six, seven months ago. Uh, there's four of us. So all, I handle uh, management and sales. We have a technical manager, uh, technical consultant, who is a developer, is able to do customization, automation, working with partners. We have a business consultant working uh, with customers also uh, on the business rules and you know catalog analysis and everything, and also a marketing and uh, administrative person working together. So we're a small team, four uh, of people, but it will be growing because there is right now already uh, a huge amount of, of requests. Uh, we're seeing this uh, accelerate, so the team will have to grow. The French market is very print oriented. They still do a lot of brochures, of flyers, uh, of uh, large catalogs and everything. And uh, obviously the key today is ROI, cost. Everybody is sensitive about cost and therefore automation is extremely important. So there's a lot of demand by all types of customers which produce thousand page catalogs, uh, in some cases once every two years because it's too complex to do this and they want to do more. And the only way they can do more because budgets are always uh, limited is to go to automation. The print suite offers a really unique extremely powerful automation and connector capabilities with a number of content management system. And this is what really we have as unique product offering. We have no competitors in this market, in the French market. We have small agencies that will do some automation, semi-automation, but uh, the print suite really has unique offering for the market. Yes, uh, one of them will be Saint-Gobain. Uh, Saint-Gobain, they are extremely well known in the construction area. Uh, they do uh, wall and isolation and everything. Uh, this is a company with 83 business units across 
the world uh, in most European countries and, and the US and everything. Uh, and they have multiple com uh, companies also, Weber being one of them, Eisover being another one. Each one of them um, uh, have basically put in place already a PIM. Uh, they've selected the River Sand PIM, and they need also print automation to do flyers and catalogs. So that's been a massive project that we've taken uh, over as we started Print France. We have other uh, businesses also uh, that we're talking to uh, and that have purchased uh, the licensed uh, products. Uh, one will be Narbonne Accessoire. That's quite of a unique, strange, small type of business. There's never any small customer, but the project was small. They are a reseller of trailers and camping equipment and everything based in the south of France. They have a number of stores. They produce catalogs with a lot of references for tents and all equipments. So that's also a product, a project on which we're, we've been working on. Uh, established customers for four years, but they're very, very happy to see Print France exist, being able to serve them, uh, service them locally. Yes, there are. Indeed, uh, France being complicated like always, just look at the news right now. Uh, indeed, the big vendors have sometimes difficulties uh, approaching the French market. It has to be French oriented. It has to be localized, translated. So therefore, there are some local vendors. One who's with us this week uh, during our uh, print day event uh, is called Aquinio, uh, out of Nantes, uh, close to the Atlantic. Uh, it's an up and going, up and starting uh, solution. Uh, it started as an open source solution. They have an enterprise with a commercial license model and we have decided to build a connector with Aquinio. The Aquinio people are here with us, excited about about doing this, we are of course excited of working with them. There's another one called MAPS, uh, based in France, Luxembourg, uh, also a local vendor with their own uh, PIM and also print solution, which they will be stopping, replacing their own print solution with ours. So there are others also, Dassault System, we're just starting to talk with them. That's so they do planes, they do uh, Rafale uh, attack planes and everything. They have their own PIM. They sell their PIM. So there are a number of French specific PIMs with whom we're gonna be working with. Okay. We're still uh, working on getting our name known. As you well know, Worksvi uh, is very German uh, and indeed we want to communicate a lot more uh, on the print name. So we need to get our name out, we need to get the brand out, we need to be closer to uh, potential partners and that's what we're doing right now. Our 2016 plan is definitely focusing on France and we will also start in the last semester this year on on Spain and Italy, finding partners, uh, working with the uh, technological partners, the, the PIM vendors, uh, content management vendors, and finding uh, integrators across the different markets that can identify the leads. We are partner-centric, so we want the partners to be driving the deals, but we need to get the message out, so that's the priority, you know, get that message out to them.